What's up, guys? Welcome back to Digital Dive-In. My name is Monkey. It's your boy, Saiyan Prodigy, live and loaded. I'm here playing Apex Legends, the best fucking Battle Royale game ever. Um, yeah. <laughs> but today, we're going to be talking about the recent rumors, rumors, uh, surrounding Avengers Endgame, which are about the game, the movie might having an intermission because of its runtime. Infinity War ran at two hours and forty minutes. The only movies to beat that, ev well, not ever, but the two two mainstream movies to ever beat that were um, the Avatar, which ran two hours forty two minutes, and then Titanic, which was three hours and fifteen minutes. Uh, of course, there's Dr. Zhivago, which is fucking forever long, but that's not that mainstream. That's an artsy film. <laughs> so, still really good movie. Everyone should watch that movie. But anyways, um, the fact I... Okay, they're talking about this movie having an intermission. And I'm like, wasn't the last year or so the intermission for this movie? Because uh, right. if y'all remember correctly infinity war was supposed to be one movie like endgame and infinity war were supposed to be one movie they decided to split it into um two movies but instead of naming it part one and part two they split it into legitimate movies rather uh so we got infinity war and we're getting endgame instead of having an avengers infinity war part one and part two and this i mean that's this like guy a typical thing to do you know, yeah, I mean? well, like that, no. that's with every big movie franchise that was just like that. That's like, if it came from a book, and it was one book, they put it into two movies. It's like, yeah, all right, it didn't really need well, to be yeah. two movies, but whatever. But typically, <laughs> typically they'll make it like part a part one and a part two movie instead of just like two yeah. standalone movies. I mean, they're, they're not really standalone. They're they're sequel. They're they're sequels, but they're not like part one, part two, like most of those kind of movies are like most movies would just be yeah. like 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 it was for fucking um oh the harry potter movie and uh fucking oh fucking everything like so many so many movies no. do that part part one part two style instead of yeah. two actual like separate films like this one's setting yeah. up to be two separate films that's what i'm getting at like not standalone Where? but you know what i mean you yeah. know what I'm fucking getting at. Stop it. <laughs> this is definitely going to be interesting. Um, I don't know. I feel like people are just kind of like hyping this shit up. Uh, for, for, for one, on, on one hand, there, there is the fact oh, that you fuck. have to take into consideration that most people, a lot of people that are going to watch this movie are going to be kids. And kids these, these days I do not have... I wouldn't say that at all. Kids oh, no, these man. days do not have a good attention span. Not at all. Kids are going to make up at least half the population of people that are going to see the movie. Yeah, but for every parent, you're going to have at least two kids. This is at true. At least. So, like, and these parents these days don't care about ratings. My like, team sucks. Like, most, most parents take their kids to go see rated R movies. That's fair. So, but, like, I mean, yeah, I get what you mean when you're talking about, like, you know, attention spans and shit. But at the same time, like, they're making this movie for actual fans, not so much, you know, big audiences. They're, like... The Russo brothers made Infinity War, Infinity War specifically for Marvel fans. They didn't really give a fuck about, you know, their general audience. They make this movie for Marvel fans, and that's about it. Which I applaud them for. You guys are dope, and you made a dope-ass movie. But, um, honestly, I don't think this movie really needs... I, even if it breaks three hours long, like... That's only 20 minutes longer than Infinity War. And honestly, I sat through Infinity War three times, and that was fucking dope. Like, I found no issue with that whatsoever. The only thing that needs intermissions are plays. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, because plays this usually run like four need, hours or like, three and a half. This movie does not need a fucking intermission. I, nah. I think people are just trying to, like, blow steam just because this movie is trending. Like, this movie is Maybe. going to be trending. So, they're just kind of trying to make up a bunch of stories and, like, make make press. Like, give this game, give this movie some buzz. Like, that's all they're really okay, trying the to do. Okay, the thing is... They, I, my argument against that would be this movie doesn't need any more steam. Like this movie has such a huge following behind it that it doesn't need any more publicate or publicity. People are going to go watch this movie no matter what. 
then why are people talking about this? Like, this is an unnecessary, like, because... like social media topic. Like, <laughs> why, why does this need to be a thing? It it doesn't. It's like, oh, yeah, it's a long movie. Big deal. <laughs> so it was like 20, 30, 40 other no, movies because, in No, because this is going to be one of the first mainstream movies to actually break three hours. Like, not that, many, not that many mainstream movies have broken three hours. Most of them stay around two and a half. Long, like, longest, most of the superheroes say hit about, about, like, two hours. I mean, all of the fucking, oh, wait, on the Trump Master? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, most movies, I mean, it's not really a big deal to me because three hours is only 20 minutes longer than, like, a general movie is. It's 20 minutes, you know, or, okay. Well, no, like a general movie. Of footage, okay, that's cool. That's not true at all either, because most movies usually run between an hour and a half and two hours. Not that uh, many normal. Not that many I've normal seen, movies run longer than two hours. Uh, I mean, you can't really say that because there are literally millions of movies. Well, yeah, but I mean, take okay. If you take a look at most of the movies out right now. If you take a look at like most of the action movies and most of the dramas and uh, rom coms and stuff like that, rom coms usually run about an hour and a half. Um, like Mission Impossible, like the last Mission Impossible, that was about a three hour movie. Like that was like two uh, hours and 50 minutes. I remember sitting through that shit. I was like, this movie did not need to be that long. But running away. Um, that was two hour, two and a half hours. Yeah, it didn't need to be two, two and a half hours. It was ridiculous. So, I mean, I don't. When it comes to like superhero movies, because of how much of a superhero movie fan I am, I could watch superhero movies all day. Like I could watch a, a whole twelve-hour Superman movie. <laughs> like I really could if they made one. They wouldn't, but you know what I'm saying. Like I could. Some people may not That's be able fair. to. You know what I mean? Who knows? <laughs> like I'm probably gonna sit through this and it's gonna feel like an hour, hour and a half. People will be like, "That was so long." I'm like, "I didn't, I didn't feel that." I didn't, I was, I was busy watching Tony Stark get his ass kicked. The time was flying, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like I like I said, I sat through fucking Infinity War easy. I, I had no issues seeing through that movie. I love that movie so yeah. much. But like nope, if you take all. a look at most if you take a look at most run times, like most most movies, most standard movies go as far as two and a half hours and that's about it. Um Yeah. Superhero movies tend to run a bit longer. And yeah. honestly, Just I'm okay. the story and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they had to flesh it out more. And every every yeah. single superhero movie gets fleshed out. The fact that they're look they're looking at making Avengers Endgame uh, three hours or longer is absolutely awesome to me. Like I think that's so great, and I am so happy with that. I mean, I agree because like one complaint that you hear in a lot of superhero movies is that oh, they should have put more in there, they should put more story, things are too rushed. Like they have enough time exactly. to accurately pace and get everything all fleshed out, make everything equal, and like give everybody enough time to be on the screen. Like they have plenty of time. You know, there shouldn't be any problems with trying to rush things or trying to get the plot to a certain point. You know, within a time frame. So, yeah. Um, if they are having that problem, and it's our three-hour movie, I really don't know what to say. Like, I really don't. I, you know, so. But I don't think it, it would <laughs> be a problem. I'm getting fucking kills. Fuck! No, I died. I mean, that's generally why people don't make movies past a certain length because well, yeah. people just like lose interest. You know. But like I said, this. This movie is going to be geared towards the fans, not so much the general audience. And they know fans are going to stick around and watch this movie for its entirety and be totally happy with it. Honestly, I kind of feel like an intermission would actually hurt this movie because it will build up, build up, build up. Something would happen intermission for like 15 minutes. And then they go back and then they have to reinvest you into the story and I don't know how well that'll work in a movie. Like in a play, it's totally different because that feeling is still there, and you sometimes you'll have like a little refresher at the I beginning mean, of I'll the play. I mean, I'll tell you now, like but... have have people, some people might walk out after the intermission and be like, "All right, I could probably watch the rest of this at home, find it on fire that stick too. or it or some shit." That but too. I mean, most people, most those people, people are not true fans. For, most people aren't going to go to a movie for intermission. Yeah, exactly. I haven't never been to a movie that I would have an intermission. 
So, I don't really know. I think that they should just stick with the three hour runtime, three hours or longer, uh, and leave it at that. I mean, honestly, I even thought Infinity War should have been a little bit longer uh, because they could they could have fleshed out the Wakanda bit a little bit more and given. I mean, because like a lot of the Avengers or a lot of the characters didn't really have that many lines. You know, they focused oh, yeah, they didn't on the, have a lot of screen time. That either they focused on the key Avengers, and then like the sub guys only got like a handful of lines throughout that entire movie. So I feel like if they actually, you know fleshed out certain parts of that movie they could have you know it would have given it a better pacing feel to me i agree because i definitely would have liked to see the winter social more but I yeah definitely why, I, I understand why because it wasn't about any of them this shit True. was about thanos and that was yeah it was a thanos movie and like it was 100 percent thanos movie it was like about thanos and who could stop him if you couldn't stop him fuck off the screen <laughs> <laughs> Basically. essentially so, like, yeah and uh, this one, I guess, because they're gonna focus more on like the failure of the Avengers, you're gonna hit, you're gonna get more character screen time with more characters, you know, instead of it just being like Tony Stark and like you know maybe a couple other mainstream Avengers, you know. So yeah, that would be good. Yeah, um, yeah. This, I think that's why they decided to do what they're doing with this movie. Because like they're giving them, this gives them the opportunity to focus on some of the smaller characters. Not even, well, not so much plus, smaller like, characters. Because well, actually, we don't know because we don't fucking know how this movie's I gonna mean, go. Like, this is the last time that most of these kids are ever gonna be on the MCU exactly. for a while. Exactly. So like it's, it's like a, this is like a like Captain movie, America, so. Captain America, Iron Man. All their shit runs out after this movie, so there's a very good chance that we won't see them after this movie, which makes me sad, but still happy. <laughs> because they had a great run. No, yeah, they did. It's really rare these days that you see a superhero series like finish itself out, finish its run to completion. Even yeah. when you're talking about cartoons. <laughs> Basic, yeah, seriously. So like, it was uh, at least I give them that. Like they were able to like finish something, you know, instead of having directors leave and shit. Like that's been happening with superhero movies so much lately on Marvel and DC side, where it's like yeah. they're changing writers, they're changing directors, and it's like if it makes things like really convoluted and it sucks. But um, but yeah, I'm glad they were able to stick with something consistent. Yeah, no, no, people no, I... too much about the lane. <laughs> Like, the only thing I can say is that it can't have any slow parts. Like, it can't be a slow-paced movie at all. Like, no, it, it people can't. Gonna be, people gonna be snoozing. Like, you can't make a three-hour superhero movie and then have, like, an hour and a half of it be talking. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, backstory or some shit. Like, they're probably gonna... And they're probably gonna go into Thanos' past a lot, too. So I'm just like, all right, it better be, like, interesting. Like, you know, he's probably gonna have flashbacks to Titan and, like... You know, raising Gamora, raising his children, or whatever. Like, so you're probably gonna get more insight to Thanos' past, and uh, yeah, just don't give me snooze. Yeah. That's all I ask. Basically, <laughs> no, I 100% agree with you. No, I 100% agree. Sorry, I'm trying to revive my teammate without getting. But um, but yeah, now to see these heroes make a comeback, I'll be so excited for, cause like. Cap hasn't really gotten a spotlight since you know his last movie. He really fucking so hasn't, be, and I'm angry. It'll be. It would be really nice to see him, like, really take charge again and, like, rally the troops and be Captain America. You know, so exactly. that'd be good. I die! No, I think so. that a three-hour-long movie for uh, Endgame will be perfect because it'll give the Russo brothers a chance to flesh out all of their characters. This is only going to be the second time that um, Captain Marvel is going to be on screen. And it'll just give them a chance to... Because this is going to be a very interesting storyline so it's definitely going to give them the chance to flesh it out take their time and build up and build up and uh take it home Thank also you. i think i should just become drunken monkey because i keep on drinking all these episodes hey, well. anyways guys what are your thoughts about avengers and game possibly being three hours what do you think about it possibly having an intermission i highly 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 doubt that it would because it's a fucking movie but we'll have to see when it comes out. Let us know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and swipe right on that like button. Give it some love. Take it out to dinner. Then fuck the shit out of it. I'm just kidding. Treat it nicely. <laughs>
If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of us diving into the latest news surrounding video games, movies, and TV, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified whenever our videos go live. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Try and do a podcast. It pops in there every once in a while, but when it does, it's fire. So definitely check out Splashcast. If you missed any of our videos from the past week, all the videos are on our channel. They'll probably be at the end of this video as well. So make sure you check those out, especially our Apex Legends review. Uh, dope ass game. Play that game. Jules, thank you so much for coming on today and uh, course, talking. Avengers. No fucking problem. I love this shit. <laughs> Ladies and gents, stay excellent. Hey, and we'll see you in the next dive in.